Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, check it out. I was on the fence on whether I should talk about this, but I'm not going to use this dude's uh, face, and I'm not going to use his name in the title because at the end of the day, depending on who you are, if you use this man's name or you use his face in your pictures, you could catch some unnecessary attention from um, the powers that be. But I want to give you guys a reminder of the current and hypocrisy that's just going on just in society as a whole. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the fact that just a few short days ago, Lil Nas X was on I guess the Breakfast Club and they was asking him about being a role model and all this kind of stuff and basically you know they asked him about the kids and he flat out said you know what uh, fuck your kids and he said it's not his job to raise other people's kids now to a certain degree I understand where he's coming from. But, however, why is he getting a pass for saying that when rappers was held to those standards and rappers didn't even say say that and that was their stance. When they were saying, well, do you care about the kids and all this kind of stuff and you know, you could be influencing younger kids and all that kind of stuff. You know, when they called them for that bogus meet before Congress where they called people like um, David Banner and Master P and they had that bogus meeting before uh, Congress about uh, lyrics and all that kind of stuff because people was wondering would censorship be put in place so basically it was a, a, a fight for censorship but nothing really came of it I think it was just I just think it was grandstanding. I just think it was what you would call a shit show. You know, people acting like they didn't care, but they really didn't. Because at the end of the day, we know for the most part who those records have the most influence on. Okay, so let's just keep it. Let's just keep it a buck. But nevertheless, you know, nevertheless. So um, I just remember the harassment a lot of these rappers went through about. Not only their music, but their videos. Ludacris was harassed over the uh, over the P popping video, Nelly's tip drill, and people called it misogynistic and all that kind of stuff. But now you have female rap artists that make those type of videos, and where they have women shaking their butts at the strip club and all that kind of stuff. But the funny part. You also have artists who are the strippers, who are the twerkers, who are the, you know, exotic dancers on their videos, and they don't catch near the heat that, you know, they don't catch near the heat that these black rappers were catching. I mean, that's just real talk. And I'm going to always have an issue with what happened with Cardi B versus uh, Rick Ross. Cardi B is on tape admitting that she used to drug and have men violated. But there was no outrage. So basically, they said, hey, it's okay. Do what you want to do to a man. But if you do something to a woman, you will be shamed. You will be humiliated. You will be, you know what I'm saying? For real. So I just want to know where all these church groups at. You know, that was organized in demonstrations where they were stepping on Snoop Dogg's records and all that kind of stuff. Which I understand why Snoop Dogg and a lot of rappers were hurt by that. Because they put their all into making those records. And then you just had, you know, these religious uh, groups coming after them. And also people like C. Dolores Tucker. But you ain't seen them come after the women who have what you call... Um, those type of lyrics you know so I'm just wondering where's the outrage for little Nas X that they had for Snoop Dogg and other people 
about some of the things they say. When Snoop Dogg then politely said, you know what, we just entertain, we're just entertainers. It's not our job to raise kids. It's not our job to do what parents are supposed to do. Like I said, that's always been my stance. Anyway, as parents, you are supposed to say, if you have an issue with a certain artist, you're supposed to say, well, you know, I don't like you listening to this type of material because of this, because of that. But see, here's the thing. You have this thing with guys like Little Nas X and Don Lemon who have this force field to where they can run and hide behind and cower from if you get at them. They want to holler about expression and all this stuff and, and freedom and all this stuff, but that's what Snoop Dogg and other rappers were demonstrating where they were putting out the music they were putting out, but they got ridiculed by it. But see, it, it always comes to that. Anytime you can humiliate and emasculate and feminize the quote-unquote alpha black man, you're winning. You know, because let's just face the fact, Little Nas X is what you call, he's a pop star. He's a pop star. But like I said before, you don't see nobody coming after him the way they came after Snoop Dogg and, and, and Tupac and people like that. And it's a lot more easier to come after guys like Little Nas X. And you just wondering, well, where's the purity police, a.k.a. the cancel culture? Why has people said that Little Nas X should be canceled? Because like I said, people love to try to hold, uh, would hold rappers accountable. So I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out the blatant double standard that's been going on. You know, at the end of the day, it's very hard for you to win as a black man. Because they want you to buckle down and they want you to comply. But yeah, I'm just wondering where's the anger and the outrage for little Nas X when he basically said, he flat out said, fuck your kid. I never heard Snoop Dogg say that. I never heard, I never heard Nelly say that. I never heard none of them guys say that. But little Nas X flat out said, hey, fuck your kids. And nobody's really said nothing so it just goes to show you that selective outrage is real and that the hidden agenda is out there there's a lot of things that I can say but I'm going to break it down in a series of videos but I just wanted to put that out there so let me know what you think this is your boy Town Biz I'm out